All right, folks, Michelle Glass here, and this video presentation is all about the brain ventricles. These are actually spaces inside of the brain that hold fluid called cerebrospinal fluid. Cerebrospinal fluid is, of course, providing nutrition and oxygen and cushioning and shock absorption and waste removal to both the brain and the spinal cord. And we'll see that the CSF is being produced in these brain ventricles. Now, with this particular model, consider this like we've made that fluid a solid and then we've cracked off all of the brain matter. So you are just looking at those spaces that will house the CSF. I like to think about my ventricles as big bodies of fluid or like lakes and I have connecting um, channels or passageways sort of like rivers. Um, and so that's the uh, kind of idea that I'm using here. So I see on my left and right hemispheres I have a lateral ventricle. So I have two lateral ventricles. I have a connecting interventricular foramen, bringing that fluid to the third ventricle. This is that ventricle in the diencephalon. Then I have the cerebral aqueduct or aqueduct of midbrain. This is going to go through the midbrain or mesen. Uh, cephalon. And then finally, I have my fourth ventricle, which is going to be back behind the pons, but more the medulla oblongata. Now, what's really cool about this model is I can wrap it around my other models. Let me show you. Okay, folks, so looky here. Um, this is my kind of brainstem piece. There's my insula. Remember that dark blue is representing my CSF. So I can sort of stick this in place there. Have you get your orientation a little bit. Let me put this model together. Okay, taking a look here. Remember, my dark blue is my CSF. So if I open up at my hemisphere, I see inside there my lateral ventricle. And then here's my third. Here's my cerebral aqueduct, and here's my fourth. There are two additional structures I can see here. These red capillaries here, this network of capillaries and ependymal cells, remember those are naraglia cells, are composing the choroid plexus, so that's where the CSF is actually being produced. And then I have separating my two um, lateral ventricles from each other, a structure here called the septum pellucidum, and that's it.